Hey guys, welcome to the lounge, free to come on in, take a seat and join me as we play the part 2 of Elden Ring. So last time we finished the tutorial and then we came out into this open world and left it there. So today's episode is going to be exploring this initial bit. I'm actually so excited. And I don't think I'm going to go anywhere near that guy because I don't think that's an NPC. Looks scary. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can jump in this game as well. Gonna rest at the grey site. Just in case. Does this have a different Luckily dialogue option other than however, Oh. There is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless. Me. Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? The golden light that gives life to you tarnished. You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Roger. So, according to the Grace, we need to go to that cathedral. Let's go do that then. I wonder when um, we're going to be able to craft stuff. Because there's so many materials that we got in the last episode as well. I am being picked up right, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to double check that I'm being picked up. Okay, I'm probably going to move this closer to the Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry, I just moved the mic a little bit closer to me so you guys can hear me okay. But, uh, yeah. Moving on. So you have to go there. I really want to explore, but I've heard so many bad stories about things going horribly wrong. <laughs> and, uh, what was that? Looks like a bat. Oh my god. That's a ginormous bat. <gasps> this is cool. Wow. Alright, I don't want to end up in areas that I'm not meant to be in, so I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on this way. What was that? Oh my god, is he walking? Oh my god, it's a skull! Golden rune. What does that do? I'm gonna hide in the bush. No, I accidentally took a flask. What was the crouch? Okay, there it is. I'm gonna have to relearn all the controls again. For those of you who watch her videos, you know that I'm no good with controls. Alright. How do I look at runes? Talisman? No. You used to gain a small number of runes. Oh, is that what they are? I thought it was just like some form of grace. So the bottom right, instead of souls, it's runes this time. Oh my god, it's a cow. <gasps> Do we have to beat him? Should we try? Oh, he looks scary though. Let's snipe him. Let's snipe him from a distance. You see nothing. Oh, oh he's gone away. What was the arrow thing again? No, it was here, wasn't it? Oh, missed. Oh my god, it's the tree sentinel. <gasps> oh, oh, that's scary. Shh. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm sorry! Oh. Do we have to beat the tree sentinel? Okay, it's the mission of today's episode. We start off by beating the tree sentinel. I wonder if we can just walk past him. Do you reckon? 
Upon dying, you'll be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any runes in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they will be lost forever. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost runes. Ooh, that's really helpful. I don't think that was in previous Souls, Souls games. There it is. There are our runes. Question is, how do we level up then? Sass jump. Hey. Oh. Okay. Oh. Jesus. Oh, you a tanky boy. You are like. You are like clad in armor, of course. Oh. Oh, no. What was my flask button again? Got it. So if I just hug his horse... Oh. Okay, I think I got it. Controls are coming back to me. Controls are coming back to me. So I can't just walk past him. <laughs> I was like, maybe friend? Maybe if I'm peaceful you won't attack? No. I have no choice. I must embrace my samurai. Hi, it's me again. Oh, nice, nice. Hey, the horsey. Oh, got rolled in the wrong direction. Yikes. Okay, flask. Holy crap. No, that's... Oh, now I can do it. Ah. I don't have stamina. Right, right, right. Three. I have to find the horse's weak point. I think it's gonna be on its side. Because his butt is covered in armor. Ooh. I got smushed to a pancake. Hmm. Alright, let's go, let's go past to the cathedral. Retrieve all of my zero lost streams. You see nothing. I'm not here. Can I pay you? Hi! <laughs> no, you saw me! You're actually the protector of these sheep. Armadillo sheep. That's what you are, aren't you? It got 
I'm not expecting those goats to roll away. That goat. They're so funny. <laughs> and did the dot drop? What's it? Stop, drop, and roll. It stopped, dropped, and rolled. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make it to to the cathedral, guys. Just gonna sneak sneak past. So I'm I'm not seen. And we're gonna leg it. Sis. Pick up item. Golden ring. Nice. Where is that side of grace? Church of Ally? Grace me! Lost grace discovered. Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace that you discovered. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay. I'm gonna rest here. Hey, Santa! <laughs> Strengthening armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Summon the lens between. You may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. Oh, what was the name of the blacksmith in Dark Souls 3? Smithing stone. Strengthen armament. With the smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. You can strengthen your armaments up to plus 3 at a smithing table. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who can make your armaments even stronger. What was his name? I love them. I don't have enough grace or strength in this armament. Oh dear. You're tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? Ooh. I am Carly. Purveyor of fine goods. Purchase. With a shop money, you can spend runes to purchase various items. You can also sell items for runes. Each merchant stocks a different variety of items for purchase. Okay. So, a cookbook. That's cool. We're all calling finger remedy. Reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. As if you were to see far away things. Enables the practice of item crafting. Crafting kit. We need to get the crafting kit. We have to. Because that sounds cool. Goodbye. Oh, no, no, no. Tell me about yourself. What is it? About Kyle. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Go okay. Goodbye for now. Okay, so now we have to go it's that way. I not gonna lie, I feel like thought this area was gonna be like a exploration area. I really want to beat him now. Let me try one more time. The tree... Tree guardian? Wait. How do I... Oh, there we go. Oh, 
just no. I really do want to try though. I think I can. I think I can. All right, guys. After careful consideration, I have thus decided to leave him alone. <laughs> I don't think I can do it quite just yet. I mean, I could, but it would take an insane long amount of time, and I do want to take this time to explore what I can. So I'm gonna leave it as it is, and oh, I am very framey. Maybe it's because it's raining? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it as is and gonna continue on with the world because I do wanna um, actually be able to explore this recording. Because I've been recording for like 37 minutes already. <laughs> are you a friendly? I don't think you are. No, you're not. That is more like it. And Lord Swords Bolt. Lord Swan. I'm actually really stuttery, so I'm gonna see if I can uh Now's not the time. I'm gonna see if I can um lower the quality of the water maybe i think it's the rain that's um that feels a little less stuttering i think are you okay oh i feel really bad do i have to fight you i'm sorry you look like you're mourning over this person a cook a cookery We need to get the um, item crafting thing. Don't need to fight you. You guys just keep on insisting. Ooh, there's a cave there. Nice, it's another gra uh, grace point. I wonder if we can travel to the grace that was here. I can't travel to grace from this location, hold on. No. No, not the beacon. That's really cool that you can travel from literally anywhere as well. You don't have to be at a bonfire, that's really nice. I think I am stuttery no more. So you guys just had to mess around with some of the settings. Um because I was stuttering a little bit, but wait. We're back. Aren't you well, you're back. <laughs> Care to buy something? I can teleport. Purchase. And I get us a crafting kit that we cannot afford yet. Goodbye. Well don't I feel For silly. Now. Can you beat up some more of those guys and then come back real quick? I need your runes! Would you believe me? You're dying for a greater good so that I can get my crafting. Thank you for your sacrifice. Godric Soldier Helm. Yeah, I heard um, Samurai class was the strongest class in Elden Ring. So, uh, I kind of feel a little bit- I remember being so proud of myself for not dying at that first boss and what I'm just it? like, well, is it really worth, like, just a hunt? <laughs> oh well, I'm still proud of myself. I think I still think good. Goodbye. So now- My Okay, if you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from the materials you find. Select item crafting from the main menu to make items. Okay. You can learn to craft more items by finding cookbooks. Ah. 
You'll need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You'll not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Container items will run out with use, but the container themselves will remain. Oh, okay. What is it? Yeah, I want to see what recipes you have. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook. And then Missionary's Cookbook. That's cool, so can we like make anything now? No, that's the map. Item crafting. With the item crafting menu, you can make various items from materials that you find. You can learn to craft more of these items by finding cookbooks. So you can make a fire pot. Oh, that's really cool how they've done that. Then beast bones, hunting beasts. Yeah, so I was right, you do have to hunt them. Can I craft arrows? Not yet. Row a race, and on horseback, feed to torrent to restore HP. Okay. Ah. Interesting. Right, moving on. Are these like... Is that a skull? It's like a big... nut of some sort. It's on the left there. Oh, we got a smithing stone. Nice. So I guess we do need to hunt those birds, huh? Are you not going to fall down? Well, I guess it doesn't matter since we can jump now. That's so cool. A slumbering egg. No, you were a mama bird? I feel bad now. Alright. Got this one. You're just gonna sit there like nothing happened. Light pinion. Huh. So what is that mean? No, this is crafting inventory. Light feather birds, materials for crafting items, commonly used for arrow fletchings. Okay, so that's what I need to craft arrows then. Okay. See, I need it. <laughs> I'm not just being heartless. There's four and deer around here as well. This one has we have Horizon Zero Dawn. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Jeez! Hefty beast bone. I thought he did a lot more than he actually did. Thin beast bones. Okay, so that's what we need to craft bone darts. Although I think I'm- oh, I scared the deer off. I think I'm fine with um, the arrow right now, to be honest. Oh. I don't roll away! I'm back! It's a dung beetle! That's so cool! Come back! Oh my god, I thought it was going to fade away for a second. Teardrop Scarabs. There are both Crimson and Cerulean Teardrop Scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their type. However, you cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum amount allows. That is cool. And we've stumbled across a, uh, a fortress of some kind. We need to explore the cave first, though. I cannot be getting sidetracked like this. Where were the caves? Let's open the map. Marker. 
it show on the... No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's put a marker there then. Oh no, it doesn't... Remove all markers. Yes. Um... Beacon? There we go. Hello, sir. I require your rooms. And possibly any good items. Nice. Was that a scream that I just heard? Is there a maiden in distress? Root resin. That's so cool. I really like the fact that you can craft stuff. Maybe we can... Oh, no, 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 no. What's that? Great dragonfly head. Is that a tortoise? Holy crap. That's cool. What happens if I... I, f I have a feeling that a bunch of dragonflies are going to come out of this. Ooh, it's moving. So what did that do? Did I just destroy someone's... <laughs> I'm an awful person. Right, now we can remove this beacon. Oh, hi beacon. Get some more mushrooms. Now into the cave. This is giving me Skyrim vibes. Those are wolves. What happens? What happens if I headshot him? I headshot at you. You're still alive? Quick, swig at the flask. Not two, just one. I can get a uh, thin beast from these guys as well. I didn't have to kill the deer. Ah. Oh, they killed those uh, those soldiers that were out there earlier. Cave moss. That's so cool, I love that. Glowstone. That's so cool. I wonder what sort of stuff you can craft. I mean, we can craft some little bone darts now, can't we? And then we should equip it. Can I? How do I um change the ammo? Oh, it's here. No, it's not. Oh, I guess you just throw these then. So then where are the bone dice that we just crafted? There they are. And build up onset of blood loss. So this, those are like bleeds. Interesting. Yeah, 
let's do that. We can jump. They're so convenient. Ooh. <gasps> we got a crack pot as well, nice. Patrol through the battles. It's really cool how um certain things will glow purple as well. And what we really could choose is a torch. Is that really all there was in the cave then? Oh no no no, it looks like there's more this way. <laughs> I do feel like this Zabra is a little bit too strong. Maybe not enough for the tree sentinel, but... Ooh, that looks like a boss fight area. I tried to use the bone dart, plus for sake. Because I forgot the controls. Now I don't have any flasks. That was a full on thrust. Jeez. Do you reckon I can live? I must have only had like one HP. Ah. Back to the caves. I had too many flasks. <laughs> Maybe I can use the uh, bone dust to finish up then. If I don't really want to get really close to the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of using it at the beginning of a fight, because then I don't have access to my flasks. You can switch it though, but uh, knowing how panicky I get, I'd rather avoid it. And then my rune marker shows me uh, where the case is, so. Uh, along here somewhere, right? No, no, no. Where were the caves? They were there. I'm really stuttery again. Maybe my computer can't handle like, uh, setting on time. So I don't want it to record really stuttery for you guys either. And now it's okay. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go into the cave skin. Wait, what's down this way? It's a shortcut. No way. I, I thought I heard uh, a wolf. Didn't think he'd be that close. Okay, come at me. I 
I knew you were gonna do slam. Oh my god, that was so bad. I didn't rest at the gra grace. I didn't rest at the grace. All right, now you rest at this grace site. You rest. Go, cool, nice. Let's go to the dog boss. Wolf boss. Ooh, lovely. Lump of flesh. Oh, nice. So you can snipe uh, guys like that as well. Cool. Bone darts are cool. some more materials all right guys this one's the one I can feel it oh stutter again maybe I do need to turn the ground I got distracted by the stutter. Yeah, maybe it does need to be run at medium then. That's a bit sad, but oh well. Okay, let's go. Onward to victory. You're gonna notice, aren't you? Or maybe not? I'll let you live then. He lived to fight another day. All right, this one's the one. I jumped and of Watch it. All right, beastman of the farm Azula. Oh, this is just crazy spinnies. Got it almost. Oh no 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 this oh, oh that's just combos Alright we can do this Nice Nice We slayed the basement of Far Missoula Blame Drake tell us Boost fire damage negation. Well, why not? Can you see it? I guess not. Oh, there's an item here. Oh, let's return to entrance. Nice. Is there anything else around here? Ah, uh, the poor lad tried to take him on as well. And this is the way we came from, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right, let's go back.
We slayed our second boss. That was cool. I wonder where it says we go now. There was this there was a um entrance looking place. Oh, maybe I should rest at that grey site first. Alright guys, I think I'm actually gonna leave this recording here. I think it's a really good place after we beat that second boss. Um, but yeah, next part we will pick up by trying to explore that area that was further, if we look this way, it was further to our left, there was like a little dungeon-y area that you could go in there, or like an entranceway. So we're gonna try to go there and see what there is, but um, yeah, can't wait to see you guys on the next one, and that's that. until then, take care, bye!